fam back at you again for another fragrance review and this one man um i've had this one for a while and just realized man i have not reviewed seriously. it seriously i've, I've been, been seriously collecting. collecting for probably about three and a half years now and i've just been amassing cologne awesome. after cologne after digging cologne. in the craigs yeah. with this one a little bit and uh i definitely want to bring it to you guys see what you guys thought i don't hear a lot out there about it and again that's the point Uncommon sense. I'm here to bring you guys something you either haven't heard much about haven't seen reviewed well, how much or further do we have Mont Blanc Envy. Now, this one is an Eau de Toilette concentration. Smooth bottle. Dig the cap. Now, the cap is not magnetic, but it's you gotta kinda on there real pull that apart to get it in there. Get the Mont Blanc signature emblem. And then it's even a little Mont Blanc emblem inside the cap. Cool. So love the way they did that. Um, this is the 60 milliliter two fluid ounce. Got this one from Nordstrom Rack. So this one was debuted in the spring of 2014. The, the nose behind this one is Sonia Constant. So in the notes of Mont Blanc Emblem, and in the, the top, we have a mix of clary sage, cardamom, with mixed splash. with sparkling grapefruit. In the mid, we got fresh green frozen violet leaves, wrapped with a touch of cinnamon. In the base, we have intense woods and tonka bean. I was intrigued to give this one a shot because I, I haven't smelled, smelled much from the house of Mont Blanc that I didn't like. So when I saw this one, I was like, I wonder what this was going to give. So I hopped down on it. I, I think spent. I paid $30 for two fluid ounces. Didn't even bat out it. I mean, it's Nordstrom. What do you expect? Even the rack, it's still the stuff still is going to be um, a little bit more expensive than discount retailers like Ross. So I believe I mean, Mont Blanc does a great job with developing fragrances that compete well in the market but also will garner attention. So for the first P, performance. I rated this one a nine. This one lasted on my skin after a shower for the day, seven hours, easy. My second P, projection. I rated this one an eight because it projected about two to three feet. Like it was really magnetic if that's the word that's like you're gonna notice you're gonna smell me and you're gonna take notice of what i got going on so. now i will say i like the atomizer on this one because it gives a good controlled but condensed mist two sprays and it has like my whole front of my hand one. saturated let that dry down a little bit oh yeah i really like this one Weird thing. This one kind of smells like first blast. Like the strawberry banana slurpee when it's first coming out of the dispenser at 7 Eleven. That fresh, sugary, frozen treat. Really dig this one, man. My third P, price. I've actually paid $35 for this one. It was about a couple of years ago when I bought it, and it was around winter time. So barely, barely on the edge. I won't even call this one a cheapie. It's on the edge. I honestly feel like cheapies are anything under thirty. Bucks. I wouldn't say this one is a cheapie. Right. And I will let you guys see. You see how that sheen is on my hand from the oil concentration that's in the cologne. I really now, feel. Like I will be very honest. This was a blind buy for me. I was in Nordstrom Rack and I was just kind of testing it out i didn't see this as a tester for me to see what it smelled like but i like how the box look and that presentation and also too my experience with mont blanc has been pretty positive so i was willing to go ahead and go out on the limb plus i was researching things on for granted to say and figure out like hmm what are these notes do i like this you know what is it compared to etc i didn't see any real solid comparisons of of course, until um, when I looked at it, it was Mont Blanc Emblem, then Mont Blanc Emblem Intense. Not a real comparison Not there. They smell alike because they're flankers. Well, one's a flanker of the other. So um, 
I didn't get a real solid comparison. So I went ahead I was really my... challenging myself to step outside of the box and kind of step my game up and go with some fragrances that I wasn't the most sure of. So again, try something new. Ended up paying off. The price category, I'm going to rate it a seven. Just for the fact that it was on the higher end of my lower end. For blind buys, if that makes sense. Now, place. I believe this one is really good for casual wear, like to the office, perhaps a date. Um, I really feel like it's one of those fragrances that smells good. I could see myself wearing this to the club. I haven't yet. Uh, I haven't been to the club in a while, so maybe that's that. I feel like it smells great. I have worn this to family functions, gatherings, parties, etc., and I've gotten compliments. That brings me to my next P, play. Um... I don't remember the last time I wore this that I got a compliment. However, I will say that I say this in almost all my videos. I don't wear my fragrances for compliments. If I enjoy them on me, that's the best. In the play so, category, I rated it an eight just because it's a fun, fresh fragrance that I enjoy wearing. Now, presentation. Let's get back to the presentation. Mysterious box. Cool. Has that emblem up top. The bottle itself. Has that emblem right there inside the bottle emblem. The bottle itself emblem. Even the top of the atomizer emblem. So you get you get what's going on here. Emblem, emblem, emblem. But again, it smells really good. What it really reminds me of is one of the ghosts from Miss Pac-Man. That shape of the ghost with the wavy bottom, etc. Really reminds me of that. But again, I'm glad it doesn't perform like a ghost. It really sticks around and hangs in there. I really feel like this one has earned a spot in my, arsenal, in, my, uh, in my backup, in my artillery. So again, for presentation, I'm going to rate it a 10. Now, the reason for the season, I'm definitely feeling like maybe spring, summer. Um, I, I feel like it can last in the winter, fall, autumn months. It has. I've worn it. It stuck around. It smelled great. I had on hoodies and coats. It still smelled amazing. I kinda, so I'm one of those guys that wears fragrances whenever I, <laughs> for as long as I feel like it. I just do what I want. And then on top of that, it's not one of those fragrances that is uh, polarizing. It's going to smell bad. So now, in my experience, I love this fragrance, man. I, I bought it maybe about two or three Christmases ago, and it was a Christmas gift from myself to myself. And it's one of my better gifts that I've ever given myself. So again... I really dig it. I really feel like you should give it a try and see what it does for you, your fragrance, your collection, what it does for your collection, your fragrance game, if your partner like it, whatever. I honestly feel like this one is purchase worthy. I feel like I will say this in my experience, I've worn it a few times, and it's one of those fragrances. As soon as I put it on, I instantly feel more sexy. Yeah, I feel like it takes my sexy to an elevated game, and I'm already pretty damn sexy. Man, it's one of those <laughs> so fragrances like that. You feel like the man when wearing it. Like, I just feel real bedecked out. Like, check me out, you know? Flexing. So, to recap, in performance, since it lasted seven hours, I gave it a nine. Projection. Since it projected at about a two-foot radius for about three hours solid, gave it an eight. Price. When I purchased it, it was still going for about 35 to $39. So, I gave it a seven. Play. Since it's a fun fragrance... I gave it an eight. It smells great. I enjoyed it. It made me feel even sexier than I feel on a day-to-day -day basis. It's magnetic. It's alluring. I dig it. Presentation, I gave it a 10. Again, with all the things I showed you, this cap, <laughs> all the insignia and stuff like that, I really like design that is thoughtful and that is true to what it means to design. Um, I, now, one thing I will say, I cannot see how much juice is in here. No matter what type of light I hold it up to, I cannot see through. So it is solid. Um, and I guess that you'll just know it's empty when it won't spray anymore. So, so solid yeah. 10 on the presentation. So all in all, it ranks at an 8.4. Is it a cop or a drop? I think my viewers are smart enough to know what, how I'm raving about this fragrance. This is definitely a cop. It was a blind buy for me. Um, do I suggest blind buying? No, I don't suggest blind buying because I hate to waste money. And if you don't like it, you can at least gift it. But at 35 bucks, with tax added, especially Chicago tax, it's going, that's almost $40. 
I don't know who just has $40 to just give away. On the worst case scenario, yes, it could be a gift for someone. However, when you're building your fragrance arsenal or your fragrance collection, um, you really don't have that. Most times you don't have a lot of money to just be wasting on blind buys. So again, I took a risk. It paid off for me. But this is where I come in. Uncommon sense to let you guys know so you don't have to waste your money. Somebody else has kind of done that for you. And if you want something that smells like this or has that type of appeal that I've explained, do yourself a favor. Cop, because this one's a cop. I definitely believe when I run out of this one, I will recop. Of course, in a larger size now because I know I enjoy this. And this one has joined a spot in my one forever arsenal to my heavy hitters section. So my heavy hitters are going to be those fragrances that have good performance and longevity. This one, it just smells so good and it performs really, really well. So I'll probably have this one in my collection for quite a while. So again, it's, it's going to be boy Uncommon Sense. I love you guys. Till later. When we bring you more Uncommon Sense, I'm out.